All right, welcome to the last component of the substitution uh, segments that we have been recording. At first, what we did was we looked at the case where the function that we are dealing with is homogeneous or not. And we um, discussed how we can approach that uh, differential equation. And then we looked at the Bernoulli's equation. That was a special case of the equation. Um, we analyzed it. And last but not least, I will look at a case. It's called the redu reduction to separation of variables. Okay. So let's write it in here. Reduction to separation of variables. Okay. So that, that will be dy dx is equal to f ax plus by plus c. So to explain this is actually fairly easy. This can be made separable if I go out and say u is equal to ax plus by plus c. Okay, but note that the b should not be zero. The reason is that if b is, is so basically if this goes away, then you're saying ax plus c is equal to. It's like almost you know replacing x with another variable, and so there's you're not re really accomplishing anything. Okay, it has to have a y in it. So there will be cases where this is going to work. There will be cases this is not going to work. Right. So you have to make sure that this type of behavior is uh, you, something that you can capture. Okay. Um, Again, the explanation-wise, there is not much else uh, that I need to do. I just want to illustrate this with some examples. Um, let's start with the first one. I'll do three of them. Let's say dy dx is equal to 1 minus x minus y divided by x plus y. And let's say that y1 is equal to 1. So IVP is what I'm um, given. The first thing I'm going to do is let me see, play around with the equation, differential equation a little bit to see whether this is something I can achieve. So let's do it this way minus x plus y minus 1 divided by x plus y. Do you see what I did? So I take the numerator, I put a negative sign in front of it, so this becomes x plus y. The reason why I'm doing it is you can see there's an x plus y in here, so I want to do that substitution. Okay, And I have a minus minus that becomes a plus right there. So nothing real uh, complicated here. Okay, Then you can guess what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to call u is equal to x plus y. So before we proceed and plug this into the equation, you can see I have a dy dx to deal with. So let's do that. du dx, so I'm taking the derivative of that, uh, this with respect to x. And obviously I have to take the derivative of the right hand side too. So it's going to be dx dx plus dy dx. Right there is 1. So I get myself dy by dx is equal to du by dx minus 1. Okay, let's plug it in du by dx minus 1, that's my dy dx, is equal to minus u minus 1 by u, right? Okay, let's do this one more time. du dx minus 1 is equal to, well, that's going to give me 1 by u, because I'm, you know, there's a negative sign, minus 1. So I simply just u by u is 1, but there's a negative in front of it. And then minus 1 by u, but there's a plus sign on in front of it. Okay, So you can see that the u's, uh, excuse me, minus 1's cancel each other. I get myself actually fairly manageable formula, right? The u dx is equal to 1 over u. And then I can do separation of variables. So I can do u du is equal to dx. So from here you can see I'm going to get myself u square by 2, obviously, is equal to x plus c. Okay. So I think I'm at a position to go back and insert what u was, and it's right here, right? So you're going to see x plus y square, you'll see what I'm doing, is equal to 2x plus d, where d is equal to 2c, right? Arbitrary constant. So can I say that? Yeah, that's kind of the final answer that I have for the general solution, right? But note uh, here that uh, this question is a IVP, so I'm given a uh, initial condition, so I want to plug that in. It says y1 is equal to 1. So this means this is x, this means this is y, right? So x plus, uh, so that's going to be 2 to the power of 2 will be equal to 2 plus d. So obviously from here you see that d is equal to 2. So you can write this back uh, as a particular solution. It's equal to 2 times x plus 1, right? So this will be my uh, particular solution. Okay?
Okay, let's go ahead and solve this initial value problem by substitution. Okay, so this question is on the easier side because it's very easy to see what the substitution I'm going to do. I'm going to do u is equal to y minus x plus 5, right? There's not much, uh, there's not much mistake you can do from here. Obviously, I see dy dx, so I have to obtain dy dx. So it's going to be du dx. I'm taking the derivative of the uh, both sides of this equation. It's going to be dy dx minus 1, right? dx dx is 1. Um, so from here, I get myself dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus 1, right? Okay, let's plug it in. du by dx plus 1 is equal to e to the power of u plus 1. So I'm going to get myself du dx is equal to e to the u. So separation of variables, du by e to the power of u is equal to dx. So when I take the integral, it's going to be a minus e to the minus uh, u, right, will be equal to x plus c, okay? So I think now time has come to insert this uh, u back into the equation, so you'll get self of my e, there's a minus, y minus x plus 5 is equal to x plus c. So this seems to be my general solution, right? Um, but I have an initial condition right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that in and see what happens. So y4 is equal to 1. This is x, this is y. So let's do it. e minus y is uh, 1 minus 4 plus 5 is equal to x is uh, 4 plus e. So let's look up here what's going on. So this is going to be a plus 5 minus 4 is 1. So I'm going to get 2 in here, right? So from here you're going to get c is equal to minus 4 plus e to the minus 2, right? Okay, so if I write it, you're going to see minus e minus y plus 5 will be equal to x minus 4 minus e to the minus 2. So that's technically correct, but I don't like there's too many minuses. So let's uh, multiply everything by minus um, and see what happens. So I want to have e, I can actually get rid of that minus 2 this way. x minus y minus 5 will be equal to 4 plus e minus 2 minus x. To me that looks better. And I'm going to call this the particular solution. That's it. Thank you. All right. So let's do one more example, as I said. Um, and you may be feeling this way. Whoa, this escalated quickly. And you see the tangent square, right? Well, let's hang on. Let's see what we can do. It's not on the end of the world. Quick question. What would be the substitution in here? Obviously, x plus y, right? So let's do the same thing. du dx. Why am I thinking with respect to x is I need to find dy dx. Right, that's the goal. 1 plus dy dx. So from here you get yourself dy dx is equal to du dx minus 1, right? Is equal to tangent square u. So then du dx, I'm going to leave that alone so I can take the integral, right? Tangent square u plus 1. Okay, I can, uh, you know, I can uh, strategically go ahead and pull this down here and then push this dx over here and take the integral, but then I'm not sure I will be able to take the integral of that. Okay, maybe you do. I'm just uh, not that comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the uh, definitions of sine, cosine, tangent, see whether I can, uh, you know, just manipulate this a little bit better. So here's what I'm going to do. du dx. What is tangent? So it's going to be sine squared u by cosine square u plus 1. So then I will multiply this by cosine square u. So I'm going to get myself here du by dx is equal to sine square u plus cosine square u divided by cosine square u. Right? So what is sine square plus cosine square u? That is 1, right? So from here I get myself du by dx is equal to 1 by cosine square u. Okay, now, 
this is the oldest trick in the book. You may think that you can take the integral of this because there's a cosine square, so it's going to be ln and stuff, but no, you're uh, not thinking quite right, okay? It's not that simple. So we have to do this uh, the expression of cosine uh, to you. And I have given you in one of the videos that I did before, but I'm just repeating. If you remember, this was cosine square u minus sine square u, okay? Um, and also, I'll write the other two as well. So you can see it, but I can't. Sh I don't recommend you memorize this. You can get it yourself, okay? Because it will get sometimes confusing. There are so many things to memorize, right? And you know that's not going to help you. So my recommendation is to memorize this and this. That's it, okay? Let's say that I want to get this because why am I trying to get this? Because this is cosine square, right? So let's say I, I want to get this. So then they basically what I need to do is whenever I see sine square x. I want to go ahead and replace from this equation. So, for instance, sine square x from here will be going to be 1 minus cosine square u, right? But then there's a negative sign over here. So then what will happen is this will be, um, you know, cosine square u plus cosine square u minus 1, which is 2 cosine square u minus 1, right? So you don't have to memorize that. Just, just know one of this, this and that. Also, there is the sine 2u is equal to 2 sine u cosine u, right? So basically what I would like you to do is know this, know this, know this. The others you can uh, obtain yourself, okay? Okay, long story short, let's go back to the question. So I'm trying to obtain basically this, right? So from here, let me write this way. Cosine square u will be equal to 1 half, right? By plus 1 half cosine to you, right? Yep, that is it. So I will go back and plug this up here, right? And I'm going to get myself the u dx will be equal to 1 by uh, 1 and a half plus 1 half cosine 2 u. Then I will move this to the other side of the equation so it will look like it's 1 by 2 plus half of cosine 2 u du is equal to dx. Okay, I'll take the integral right hand side, you'll do the left hand side as the viewers. How about that? Now nah, I'll do that, I'll do that. I need to show you, right? Okay, the first one will be 1 by 2u. So that's the u by 2, right? Plus the other one will be 1 by 4 because cosine 2u, remember? Sine 2u, right? Will be equal to x plus c. I don't like this u by 2, 1 by 4, so why don't I multiply the whole thing by 4, both sides of the equation. So then I'm going to get myself 2u plus sine 2u, looks much better, right? 4x plus k, where k is equal to 4c, right, arbitrary constant. So I'm in a position to plug what u was, which is x plus y, so let's do that. x plus y plus sine 2x plus y is equal to 4x plus k. Let me see whether I can do anything about it. Yeah, one more step, right? You see there's a 2x in here, there's a 4x in here, so I can simplify them. 2y plus sine 2x plus y is equal to 2x plus k. Okay? I don't think I can proceed any further. There's no way I will get an explicit solution for y over here. Okay? Because it's between a sine and there's a plus sign. All right? All right, so that's going to do it for me, for the substitution. The next segment will be on applying what we learned so far into linear and nonlinear models, okay? Thank you.